and gets off as we hope. Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady, that'll be fun. But this one's going to be, of all things, Michael Vick against Michael Vick. We'll talk more about that as we go forward. We're underway with the kickoff. And we're going to look at abilities right away here, Skimbo. Do you like what Scheman does? Uh, you know, it's a little different because if you remember at the bowl, he had that fast break. I mean, at the club, he had that fast break. This Vic does not have that fast break. Um, didn't work out from the first game, but I feel like we're going to see his offensive playbook open up a lot more with those abilities. And, you know, he said it on his tweet, don't sleep on Calvin Johnson. You know, a lot of people don't use this Calvin, I believe, because he doesn't get that John Madden get 99 speed. He's at 98, but he's still going to rock that Calvin Johnson. And on offense, he'll be in that Baltimore Ravens playbook and on defense, Green Bay. As and, for Clef, well, a lot of Michael Vick. Clef. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. You got this Michael Vick show, different abilities, though. You know, he, he that agile extender, it helped him out in his first game. Wasn't enough, but it did make a couple big plays happen. And then with his wide receivers, you know, like I said, the Torrey Holt playmaker, Slotomatic, he'll be able to catch the ball really well in traffic as long as he's not jumping, and John Ross. And then on the offensive playbook, West Coast, that famous bunch, and then on defense, Dolphins. With Ward and Reed and 99 speed, those are the must-haves for Clef defensively. As they go through their audibles and get us ready, I, I got to go back to, to user now. David Ortiz on the, the Major League Baseball World Series picks a couple of years ago. I remember when 0-7 on Fox, and everybody gave Big Poppy a, a lot of crap about that. So, uh, user, you got good company. It's you and Big Poppy. What, what's the old line about the Midas touch? Everything that user touches turns into a muffler. <laughs> he, he's not gotten one right yet, and he's picked scheming in this one, so let's see, let's see. Yeah, but I think in this game, both these players kind of struggled on offense. Really important, very important for both these guys to get off to a fast start and get their offense going. Well, Chris Johnson has been a big player in the past tournaments. We've got to point out this is a, a standard card here, 88 grade. But Chris Johnson led Noah to a belt very recently, led Volterax to a belt very recently. Chris Johnson, not a very common card in Madden Bowl 20, but Scheman's using him. And right now, it's minus two yards for him. Yeah, it's a very good value running back. That's actually not the best Chris Johnson that we're used to seeing. That's one of the downgraded versions. So he doesn't have that second gear like a lot of them do. But I wouldn't be surprised if he really just tries to find something in this formation as you see he's dropping to a pass. Yeah, zips one to use check out of the backfield. He'll score him for the first down. Michael Vick with the golden ticket designation. Number one pick of the 0-1 draft and a, just such a Madden staple year to year to year. Of course, he was a, a cover situation not all that long ago. <coughs> huh, man, I'm just... Honestly, Josh, I'm just trying to figure out what Scheman's got planned. You know, you you spent all that those days in the lab trying to find something. You know, I really want to see how explosive this offense can be because in the first game, we really didn't see a lot. Yeah, Scheman lost 27-7 to Little Man. Quarterback draws, maybe too many of them. They just were not going well. And he'll throw on the run. This time, Ross on the sidelines has got it. That's a pretty good connection right there. John Ross, the Bengal, will take it for the to the outside. They're going to call it second and ten, though. Yeah, he didn't get both feet in bounds. He hit the rack to try to keep going. He didn't hit a possession and really try to get himself in position. He didn't get both feet in bounds. I like that motion over. It's a really good disguise. He can motion over, roll out. He can motion over, run the play. I love people that run offense like this. Makes everything look the same, but it can be different. I kind of feel like Scheman is a bit of a dormant volcano right now. He hasn't had the offense popping yet. Is he due to pop something loose? He's going to try right here and overthrows Josh Cribbs. He had him open, but that's a cross body and accurate. I mean, he didn't really run into the throw. He's running to the sideline, threw it across his body. That's what made the ball go airmail. But like I said, I really like kind of what he's doing with this combination of that motion over to the left. It, he's really disguising everything really well. He could always just run the ball, different route combinations. I really like what he's doing. He's just got to make better reads and have better route combinations. But I like the disguise that he's having in this formation. 
You see Scheman with those novelty checks pinned to his wall there in his room. He's going to check right out of this tournament if he's not careful. He's 0-1 right now. And some rough sledding on this first drive. Can Ross get inbounds this time? Yeah, he stays in. Fourth and two. Nice. Very good play. That time got the possession, catch animation. That's great. I, I, I love that concept he had with the corner route going to the left side with him with that motion out, speed out. But here we go, fourth and two. You're going to give Clef really good field possession if you don't get this first down. Chris Johnson again, the halfback. And they'll motion with him now. Of course, with Michael Vick. Now, sometimes that quarterback keeper can work. We just have to point out it was not there for Scheman earlier today. Finding the open man. On, Instead, it's taken away by Lattimore. Come on, Lattimore. Marshawn Lattimore oh, circling free. Just Lattimore, pass, he's going just to the crib. Wow. That, I'm going to be honest with city, you. That like might have yeah, looked like an yeah, easy pick six, but it really wasn't. Like I mean, I know it everywhere. looked like it wasn't traffic, but that it's was a great click on the club. He got the best animation. He waited until the last second to hit the white button so he doesn't get a bad backup animation. He clicked on and cut in front as good as you can possibly click on as a defensive player. That's a great high-level Madden play. Defensive stick and a 7-0 lead for Clef the God. Here's a Snickers replay. Look at this click on cut right in front. Great play. That's just unbelievable stick work by Clef. Great click on. That's next level Madden. I know it looks easy, but it's not. That's a really high level play. And the cork is still in the volcano for Scheman. And we got to point out too that you know with Clef, you mentioned the stick work defensively, but this is a this is a tight defense. You got a 99 Ed Reed. You got a 97 Denzel Ward. You got Porter and Lattimore. They're 96s. Got Amos and Hanks as your safeties. That's a good look. It is. That's a, it's a great defense. But speaking of looks, I know Scheman liked that look he just saw. If you're going to mix in the run with the inside zone like this, this much, he's already called it two or three times. I don't know why he didn't invest into a better Chris Johnson card. Because right there, if he would have had the second gear, he might have been able to get out of there. But he kind of got caught, you know, trying to run away. But I, I, like I said, I like this formation. But I must say about Clef, the best feeling ever as a Madden player is when you're up 7-0 and you haven't even touched the ball in offense yet. That's a great point. It's possible Clef could get all the way through the first quarter, never run an offensive play and be ahead. And remember, one of these teams is going to sink down real deep here. Somebody's going to be 0-2 at the end of this one. Michael Vick he lets it fly. He does! To the 30-yard line, he found that Tory Holt to move the chains. And, and I'm going to tell you guys, because this was popular out a bunch, this, this is a reason why he's in this Baltimore play, th this stock fade. They took out the fade routes out of Madden, the good ones that kind of went to the sideline. They changed it. That's an old school stock fade route that goes up into the sideline. It's a great play to get that coverage, Beater. And i got to correct myself. That was actually Calvin Johnson. That was Megatron who ran that route. Get so used to looking at 81 for Torrey Holt, but... Scheman was big on having Calvin Johnson, and you mentioned it too. Shotgun wing out of a two tight end set, you can do that. Scheman said he watched YouTube video of Zan, who used that Baltimore playbook for a while, just like he's rolling with here. Calvin Johnson is not being used offensively by many people in this tournament, but that's a big play right there. Michael Vick is going to be shoved down here. Clef the God getting it done on D. Great coverage. No one was open. Oh, Finally, someone went home. But speaking, you know, Scheman watches Zan. Zan's one of the most underrated Madden players every year. He's a great player. Really check out his content. But getting back to this game, uh, Scheman, he really he needs to get some yards to get field goal range. You want to run? <laughs> Not happening. Listen to Clef laughing, saying third and 21, you're going to try to run on me? Please. That's another uh, That ain't any eyeballs. You know, That's the reason Reed. why he tried to run is so he could That's get in field goal range. And I don't, I, I mean, Josh, you have to tell me his kicker because this is a I mean, long kick. Well, he's got Justin I mean, Tucker. You this, you, you go and he's going to try it. This I mean, is 57 this yards shot. for the Ravens' great. I mean, and the, the wind gotta, not really I, a factor, I, I three miles an hour. It's not. I got to cut you off, Josh. I don't think he should have kicked it. If, it. if it doesn't go in. Yeah, let's go, man. 
Yeah, and it didn't. He was I'm a little short. It. Now, let's be low key I'm going to explain it. He could have let the quarter run out. I know let it's going side three miles per hour, but it's going three miles yeah. side sideways yeah. and backwards. If he would have waited for the quarter to end, he would have had oh, it going man. sideways and forward for him. And you never know. That little extra ump, that could have helped him make that field goal. If I was him, I would have let that go to the second quarter before I kicked that just so I could have that wind on my back just a little bit to help my chances. That's a great point. Didn't see the replay, but it looked like it was just maybe a yard or two short. And you're right, you never know if that little extra push might have made a difference. And I know things speed up, right? I mean, you can speak to this, Skimbo, because when you're actually in the middle of this, when you're right in the thick of it, it's not always easy, right, to separate yourself and look at things from 10,000 feet like that. I don't know, man. I disagree. It's something I always tell people about. I always think a play ahead of what I do. I always think about the win. Like you can hear me comment, great playmaker. Always oh, hung, hangs so on in traffic. That's but that's just something. You've got to think so about this stuff all, all the time. It. You can't ever really not think. Of, to be a top it. matter player, you have to remember stuff like that. Tory Holt, by the way, was the 81 who made that catch as we get into the second quarter. Let me just play friendly debate with you, though, because you're a golfer. I know that. And... You can get the best golf lesson in the world, right? You can have all these reps. You can go to the practice range and do everything right. But isn't it true that sometimes in the heat of the moment, you forget everything you worked on on the, on the practice course? You know, as we see this route combination, oh, he's going to go for it. Oh, in a coverage there. Wow, he got the touchdown. <laughs> What a hot read by Clef. I'm looking at the in route. I'm looking at the post route. That's why you always have a streak on the field in case it's a broken coverage. He got man press, got a bump, got over the top. Great job by Clef finding that because that's honestly, as a as a, court, a couch quarterback just looking for reads, that's the last read I was making. You know what I'm saying? And you talk about a dot. What a throw by Vic to the back of the end zone to make it 14 to nothing. We'll take a look courtesy of Snickers. Oh my gosh, just look at that right side. He didn't even bump him. He went right by him. John Ross with the streak just goes right by him. Schemann's user wasn't there. I mean, it was just a great play. Way to eye that down. It was open. Touchdown. So huge, man. Great, great read. Michael Vick. We'll get near the first down sticks. And John Ross, we got to shout out Snoop here. John Ross, former member of Snoop Dogg's All-Star Pee Wee League. And Snoop, of course, such a big fan of Madden, plays it all the time. Did our open for us here for Madden Bowl. Appreciate that a lot. Yeah, that's that's just awesome stuff. A little play, a little dot right there with the slot of Maddie. Uh, that's pretty cool. You know, I grew up as a kid listening to Snoop. I, as a kid, and I know a lot of these guys, we never would have thought we would have been, been playing Madden at this level from our homes with this studio. Guys, a lot of work went into this stuff. And to be, to be doing all this and have the great people that helped us get here and for this kind of money, now we're mentioning Snoop. I would have never predicted this when I was growing up as a kid that this is where we would be at in Madden. It is time to shine right now for sure. And real quick with Scheman, he said almost exactly that when we talked to him earlier this week, Skimbo. Biggest chance he's had. It's time for him to get noticed. He knows everyone in this group pretty well. Said Clef really doesn't have many secrets. He runs plays out of that bunch so well. I know what I'm going to be seeing. I just got to execute. And the execution so far has not gone well for Scheman. He's staring down the barrel of 0-2. It hasn't gone well, and I'm going to say I really do like what he's doing. I like his route combinations as he's getting hummed at right here. Oh, he's going for a touchdown. Look at this if he throw. makes the throw, he's got him. <laughs> now, couldn't quite get it there. That would have been the touchdown throw of the tournament, but it sailed too far. Oh, my gosh. He went for it. I mean, you're down 14-0. I don't even blame you trying to make that pass. That's a ridiculous pass. Michael Vick, he can make that throw. Not a lot, but he <laughs> it's worth the shot. Oh, yeah. On third and six, Vic getting rid of it to the sidelines and a tippy toe catch for John Ross. Wow. Great playmaker. He used the playmaker ability. He flicked his right stick up, had John Ross go up the sideline. It was a broken play. Great job by Scheman. He's got to get seven on this drive. Some desperation here, but the, the big stick made by Nick Bosa, who's not a huge cap player. 
But we've seen a steak for the price of chicken from some of these frontline guys in this tournament. And some of those lower cap players are getting it done. Right, and look at this route combination. Yes, so. though. Will route on the left oh. side. Oh, not yes, good so. pocket. Hey, not up, good man. pocket at all. He got crack home. Up, he could have stayed in the pocket. There was no need to roll out. But I'll say this. I know it. Like I, I'm gonna say it again. I know it doesn't look good for scheming. But this is one of the most unique offenses I've seen all year, it's and it's just not working out for him at the moment. But some of these route combinations are good. But that speaks volumes to Clef's defense. He's playing outstanding defense right now. Well, I got the sack from Isaiah Simmons right there. And with Jerome Baker, with Simmons, good linebackers a must for Clef. And those are two real good ones. As Johnson is arm barred down. Timeout taken here and a 14-0 score. A fourth and 16 in field goal range. Yeah, and you see the wind as it goes in the second quarter. It's going up and to the left, so it would have helped him out a little bit. I don't know if it would have made that big of a difference, but he would have had it. And for Schemann, you have to lock in and get a stop because Clef's doing whatever he wants on the offensive side of the ball. Well, Scheman, who's normally all about exactly that, he's kind of a mad scientist, a tinkerer. He has only tinkered his way in a 10 points total in this tournament. He's played basically a game and a half. You know. Yeah, and, I, and I'm going to say this about Scheman and for everyone at home that says, you know, I don't know if Madden had a skill gap this year. If you don't know Scheman, he's been the live tournaments. He's been a top player for a long time as Clef's mixing it up, looking for something deep over the Oh, we might have him. Ooh, okay, okay, he ran out of bounds. But like I was saying, you know, I, I got to say it. I got to pay Scheme some homage because not a lot of people are. I've had battle this, battles with this guy for the last six years. It's just disappointing that, it, that he hasn't been as consistent. But this is not some guy that just slipped up and made it. He's been a great player a lot of years in Madden, and it's nice to see him on this stage again. Absolutely. Got the bid for being a club championship semifinalist. He lost to eventual champion Volterax. Mark Samuels, 15th in the point standings as he headed into that. And now, as he plays here, trying to play a little defense, it's going to bring up a third and eight. Yeah, right now, I know Clef's probably feeling himself, but he really needs to lock back in with these route combinations. He got a little lazy on that play. You don't want it. You don't want to get a first down here and give Scheman the ball. You're in full control, lock in. He needs to get a first down here. And if you're Scheman, you desperately need to get off the field. Scheme and remember, no abilities on that defense. Didn't grab a single one. And right there, he could have used it. Could have used a lurk, could have used something because that's a third and eight completion to move the chains for Clef. I don't blame Clef at all for eyeing that down. Like I keep saying, that looks like a tough read. But if you don't have that lurker ability, linebackers just don't animate like they have in years past. If you were to play last year's Madden, that probably would have been a pick with that linebacker. But in this Madden, they really made it where they don't want linebackers to get animations that only corners and safeties get. And that's rightfully so, because safeties and corners should be able to make plays like that. But linebackers, they shouldn't be able to jump as high as some of those safeties can. A rush off the edge. That is picked, and that's huge. Woods in the other way. Oh, boy, did Schema need something like that. He's going to get Woodson all the way home. The touchdown, the very needed touchdown for Schema. Uh, I'm just going to say it, Josh. We're going to see a replay in a second. It's very similar to Joker's Pavin. Um, Schema accidentally ran commit, and Clef threw a pick to a run commit. Because I, it's just that's oh I know I know Clef is sick and I know Schema just caught the biggest break of the tournament. That was a run commit on defense and Clef threw it right to the zone that finally said snapped out of it and went and dropped back in coverage. Rod Woodson, 17 years in the NFL and he's gonna go the other way. It's just right there. Everyone came down. He had other people open. And however, he, he threw it right to his safety. And I heard Clef. He's sick. He said he ran commit. How do I do something so stupid? Oh, my gosh. That's just such an unfortunate break. But like I said, for scheming, what a great break because now you're right back in the game. Yeah, you and I, I'm sure, are thinking it. this could be 21-3 at the half. Now it's 14-10 with still a minute 13 to go. And... You know, I'm sure there's no looking ahead. I'm not meaning to suggest that, but let's face it. Next up, it's Clef against Noah. And that's the one that, that Clef has been gunning for, right? I mean, that's their challenge finals rematch. To get there, though, 
and make that worth something, you got to win this one first. And there's Tory Holt to the sidelines to move the chains. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you, like I said the other day, you know, we keep track of head to head, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, the main goal is to somehow, some way, make it out of group. And if you end up getting the one seed, you'll take it. That's great because you get a bye. But the first step, it doesn't matter who. You can't look forward because once you start looking forward, you slip up. And by the way, Scheman is no one to slip up on. Like I've said, he is a top player. Do not ever slip up on Scheman because it, it fits to his name. He'll come up with something you're not ready for. And as he said, he's well aware this is his biggest chance to shine so far in Madden play. He knows everybody's looking at him right now. Can his defense step up? There's no pass rush at all. Vic can read a newspaper if he wants to. Finally, he goes down. 15 seconds worth of standing around, and finally he takes a seat. It, great defense. It finally came home because I'm not going to lie. Clef was about to have a touch on that right side. The coverage finally was going to break, but at the last second, someone got home. And there's Vic. He's got him. Airing He's it out. Cribs. He's got Cribs inside the 10. Here we go. A little no huddle. Quick pace. Something we've been working on. Here comes your best red zone play you've been labbing. Let's got go, him. Man. A bullet it's and he scores. He threads the needle. He had no timeouts. He goes over the middle of the, the field here, and he put it right where he needed to in his 21 to 10. Such a great play. That's that's such a great play. We're, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it here in a second. He had this curl route concept on the right with his running back coming out of the backfield. It's one of the best plays in Madden in the red zone. If you're in bunch, really, if you're at home, watch this replay because this is a great play. All right, take us through it, Skim. Uh, you got two curl routes on the right side. And you got the running back. You just pick and choose who's open. Just really clip that in the chat. If you're if you're struggling in the red zone, you run bunch. That is the best play, in my opinion, out of bunch the run when you get in the red zone. Now, it's still 20 seconds and a couple timeouts here for Scheman. And Vic throwing on the run, yes, airs it out. Yes, it's Give picked off Merton. instead. Merton Hanks has got it. And can a Hanks go all the way? That'll be tackled at midfield. 11 <laughs> seconds still up. left without a timeout. But if you're Clef the God, maybe you've got a shot here. One pass forward and a three-point kick. Well, okay, so this is what you need to do. First off, Scheman trying to make a play, couldn't make it. This is what this runoff, I'm telling you, with no timeouts. If the ball's in bounds or take a sack, it's over. He's got to get out of bounds with the play here. Over the middle. And he can't get out of bounds, so at least Scheman will keep it at 21 to oh, 10 awesome. at the break. But Clef the God up by 11. He's feeling pretty good right now. I mean, Josh, you remember, say he's feeling remember. good, but I, th I think he's upset, Josh. I really do because his one, the, the seven he gave up was a pick six on a run commit. So, yeah, you're feeling good. You're up 21 10, but it could be a lot more. Mm. He does have the ball coming out. I mean, I think that's one thing he can, can take with him as he's up 21 to 10 at the break. And let's listen in a little bit. These guys have been wired for sound. Let's audible at home. It's going to be Book City like we at a library, I promise. It's going to be like I'm at a library, books everywhere. It's going to be books everywhere, I promise. D, let's go. Come on, let. Come on, let. Yon, yon, the Don. Earn that 15 count, man. Earn that. That's just a <laughs> precision. Precision. Don't forget to tune in. ESPN 2's got the finals this year and the semifinals before that. Madden NFL 20 Bowl live coverage starting at 5 Eastern on Saturday, May 16th as we crown the best player of the year in front of the biggest audience. All right, so we are having some fun at user's expense as the boat tips over every single pick, it would appear. Scheman might be in the water now, too. Let's see if uh, Clef can get in the boat and if we can somehow get user out of the water and just stop ragging on him all the time. But he's got to have one pick come through. Let's see, I just... 
I just don't know, man. I think this is a little premature to put scheming in there already. But that is a, that's a great picture that the people did. That is so funny. Okay. Now, sense of humor is an important trait, and thankfully users got that about himself. All right, let's see if Scheman can actually crawl back here. He's got to play some defense first. Again, waiting in the wings, you've got Noah for Clef. Scheman's going to end with Little Man. Games five and six will be played simultaneously. Here's Vic, and he'll slide for that first down. Yeah, he looks really comfortable. I want to add to that picture because actually I think Scheme was in there earlier, and it makes you wonder if he keeps calling bad picks, are we going to start putting tallies over their head or just put multiple? I'm very curious what production is going to do with that because it's getting to the point where we have to start tallying for user because he's been that bad. But look at Clef on offense. He's been that good. His, he looks really comfortable. He's sending out three routes. Everyone's open. He is a true surgeon right now on offense. Underneath to Kellen Winslow. I know he's not on the clock yet, but basically you know, he's in position to draft Joe Burrow next year, his user. I mean, he's off to this 0-whatever start. <laughs> he's, he's become the 2019 Bengals uh, prognostication right before our very eyes. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, okay, back to the game, though. I got to get with it here. Um, Schema, he's just trying to dial something, trying to find a coverage to stop him. But like I said, everything. He's got a touchdown up top to the left. Dashing soul. Oh, he's got a dive at least. Oh, man. And he's inside the 15-yard line with that one as he got it to who else but John Ross. This is hot as this is going to get him here. Uh, he played it safe there. He went for the possession catch. He didn't go for a rack for a touchdown. Right he wanted to make sure he caught that ball. That he didn't want to take eight. any chances. And I could hear Clef going, I don't need dashing. They sold me seven, eight, sold, selling me here. You know, he's going to be okay. So that's nice to see. If you don't put the cap in dashing and then it works out for you, it makes you feel good as a team builder. Like, I really didn't need that ability. And back to this great, this great red zone play that he loves to run. But he's going to mix it up, it looks like. Hasn't been running the ball at all. Michael Vick gets twisted up. And down he goes. So there's a little bit of Fred Warner for you. And driving him back to make it a second and 16. Yeah, and the agile extender didn't pop up because that was a linebacker that took him down. It wasn't a, a corner or a safety. So he might be blocking his running back here. Well protected. Michael Vick looking. No one open yet. And the crossing route, it comes loose. Kellen Winslow. Hall of Fame tight end of the San Diego Chargers. Normally a good hands man, but not right there. Oh, it was a good play by Scheme. He got caught on his DT, made a play, way to knock it out. But I'm going to say, if this was about Clef down four, he would have forced that post route in there because there was a window that he could have fit it in. But very smart. He, he, he's going to make sure before he passes the ball in coverage, he knows he's going to catch the ball. Because with a lead like with 11, you know, you don't want to turn the ball over in this position. We mentioned somebody is going to be 0-2 at the end of this game. Doesn't mean they're done, by the way, in what's essentially a round-robin day as a timeout is taken here. Got to make sure everything's right, because this is critical now. When you give up a touchdown and you're down 28-10, to that's a three-possession game heading towards the fourth quarter. You can't have that. It, that, that's a really tough spot. I'm actually curious it, who 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 have started 0 and 2. You know, I, I it's just it's so hard to make it out. It really is. You're just in such a bad spot. Scheman, he's got to keep this a two possession game. He can't give up a touchdown here. That actually works out really well for Clef because now it's first and goal. You've still got a little bit of room to operate, right? Because you're at the nine, not the two, and you can start bleeding some clock if you get one more first down. You're fourth and six here. He's just gonna kick it. Uh, yeah, you're not. You're not going for this. You're definitely gonna kick it here. He didn't get the first. He he 100% needs to kick. Go up 14. You don't want to give Scheme any momentum. You're very comfortable being up 14. It would have been nice if you got a touchdown on that play. But you gotta understand. You can't right now. You have all the momentum. You cannot let Scheme gain any momentum. Now you'd love to make it that three possession game. But I think you're right. It's better to take the points. 24 to 10. A scheme in his two touchdowns away. And again, what he's got on, on offense is not bad. He's got Calvin Johnson. He's got Josh Cribbs. He's got John Ross. He's got Chris Johnson. He's got Michael Vick. 
Yeah, it's just a different style. When he made, you know, when he made it and he made a run at the club championship, he was really relying heavily on this quarterback blast with Michael Vick. In this tournament, he hasn't run a lot of blasts with Michael Vick. He's tried to throw the ball, and it hasn't worked out uh, worked out for him. You know, it's just I don't understand. Sometimes I know you're trying to cook up and be different, but sometimes you gotta, you know, just just go with what got you there. And, uh, but you know, maybe he's just having a bad day because I can see potential in this offense. It just hasn't worked out for him. Yeah, it's like he's revving the engine, just not getting down the track completely. Although there's a first down from Michael Vick. And to your point, Skimbo, when you talk to Scheman, he says it like this. He says, I love the idea of zigging when everybody else is zagging, right? I mean, if, if the conventional wisdom is A, he wants to do B. That's why he's scheming all, all the time. He's trying to be a little bit different. Oh, and a malfunction at the junction right there, the handoff, and a quick lowering from Ed Reed. Yeah, Clef's starting to send the dogs at him. But I'm going to say, scheme is not in an awful position. It's not like this game's out of reach at all. You're still in the third quarter. You're down two possessions. If you go get a touchdown here, it gets really interesting. But he has, he has to go get a touchdown. He can't get three. It has to be seven on this drive. Taking off with Vic again, who gets crushed by Isaiah Simmons. Getting towards the fourth quarter, and remember the, the touchdown for Scheman actually came on the defensive side of the ball. Mm. Yeah, and, and, and Clef just called a timeout. I was about to sit for each. Scheman needs to call a play before the fourth quarter, so it saves him a timeout, as the fourth quarter would be a timeout for him. But however, Clef just did a two-for-one special. He actually just called a timeout, which I don't blame it because this is a big down, and you need to have your defense out there. Very well, four down territory as Vic has to tuck tail. He'll turn and throw it away as the heat was getting home. And now fourth and seven. And I know it's not even the fourth quarter yet, Skimbo, but this could be the play of the game coming up for Scheman. And Madden, and Madden, this is the game. Because if he doesn't get this, he's, Clef is going to be in field goal range to go up three possessions. This is, I, I know this is early. I know we're in the third. But he, he has to get this fourth down because Clef's in a beautiful spot if he doesn't. Now we saw Pavin convert on a couple of these back a, a couple days ago. And it's basically the same receivers group here. Ross, Cribs, and Holt. That's what Pavin did. And he ended up coming back in the, the fourth quarter of a game. Here we go. Fourth and seven. You betcha. Whistles it in there to Ross. Move those chains. Dog, he throw that blindfold. Wow. That's just unbelievable. Oh, my God. He converted it. Good deed, good deed, good deed. God damn. Now, Clef is sick. He's thinking, man, I, I thought I had it. I thought that was ball game right there. Like, dead serious. Do that. Oh, my gosh. No, he did not. It's going to go to the fourth quarter right now with no, Scheman on the move that. at least. Fourth quarter presented by Creamy Snickers. You're not smooth yeah, when you're hungry. Oh, no, no, don't pressure This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this Creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and Creamy Snickers. Well, Scheman would be 0-2 if he cannot rally now. At the very least, he's on the move. He just converted on a huge fourth down. Those novelty checks that, I don't know, did Steve Harvey drop him off? Did Ed McMahon drop him off? They're on the back of that, uh, that backdrop that we see. If he's going to get more checks, if he's going to get some more money playing Madden, he's got to get forward out of Group C. And first things first, he's got to stick it in the end zone on this drive. Yes, sir. But there goes the defense yon, from Clef yon, again. The dunk. Yeah, he's trying this rollout scheme to the left, but Clef's DN is making unbelievable plays. I want to go back to the end of the third quarter. You know why Clef's so frustrated. This is how top Madden players lurk. We'll lurk on something and act like we're guarding it, but as soon as we see the quarterback wind up, we're gone somewhere else. And that's what Clef was doing on that. Might be a pick. He's so blind, dog. He caught it. No, he is so blind, bro. Yeah, and Clef can't believe it. You Keeps dropping that blind man on scheming right there, but that's a big play. It's no disrespect at all, but these passes that he's throwing, 
Mm. They're in coverage. They're, they're not just clean as he rolls out and gets some yards with Vic. These are not clean passes. Scheming is catching some breaks. But Clef, if you're Clef, you got to keep a level head. You can't let your emotions get. you got to understand, if you get a stop here, the game's basically over. you just got to keep fighting. And if you're scheming, just keep trying to put something, something together. Uh, if you want to call it a blind squirrel, acorns mm -hmm. have been found twice in the last few minutes now. Third and five in what is four down territory for Scheman. This is it. Yes, the, he's not going to take three. He's going to get a first down. He's got to score a touchdown. It's just he has to put together a good route combination with the post round, a backside slant that needs to get open. Ball, Can he man. get the stick work going? Not really. It's going to be fourth down. Fourth and four. Just uncomfortable. He had the post wide open, and everyone got blocked, but he got so anxious he rolled out of the pocket. He actually might have had a touchdown if he would have stayed tall in the pocket. However, I know how it is in this mat, and sometimes these, these blitzes get at you, and you got to skate you want to just roll out. But right there, he just didn't oh, trust it. There it is, going the other way with Denzel Ward. Game, set, match for Clef the God. He'll waltz all the way downfield and stick the landing. Huge, huge pick. Denzel Ward's on just about everyone's team. Great cap, fast speed, that 99 speed. And you see, when Denzel Ward gets his hands on the ball, he's not going to look back. There's a great chance it's going for six. Get another stop. Now, uh, Scheman is in bad shape right now because at 0-2, with man. the way everything else is shaking out, he could be eliminated before we move forward to games five and six. Check the replay as the route was jumped and the game was sealed. Scheman just going for that motion flat route. He's been trying to wear out all game. Clef let him have it, let him have it. One of the biggest plays of the game. He finally threw a zone over there. He jumped it for six. And I got to bring this up, Skimbo, if indeed it's elimination time for Clef, or excuse me, for Scheman early. There's still a lot to play for, right? I mean, if you finish first, you jump the field. You don't have to go to the wild card round. You go right to quarterfinals. That is large. So there's still a lot going on in games five and six. Yeah, there's a lot There's a lot going on, and I know they'll have the math after this game, but I, I, I'm not sure because we've seen the last two days, the person that's gone 0-2, they weren't eliminated. You know, they had a chance to somehow get the 3 or 2 seed. But, however, with Clef, he's definitely going to try to fight to get a 1 seed somehow. And that's cool. I know what you're going to do here. Lil Man is in the pole position right now. He's the guy who's 2-0. and Noah's 1-1. One one. Clef's going to be 1-1. One and one. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. Scheman, barring an oh, absolute yeah. miracle, Denzel. is going to be 0-2. He's going to get chopped down by who else? Denzel Ward back at the 5. Yeah, and, and you know, I know Scheman's like me and wondering if there's any way possible he can possibly make it. And, you know, I, and I can't wait to hear what they got to say at the desk, but I don't think there is a chance. But this go coming back to this game. It's just been complete domination yeah, by Clef. Great defense. The That's only touchdown Scheman had man. was a run count, commit yo. defense pick six. Okay? That's count, how dominant yo. Clef was this game. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go press him out there. No, that's Eddie. That's Edward Goldman. Eddie Eyeballs. Go press him. Now, we mentioned Little Man standing by for Scheman. And to your point, Skimbo, I know Scheman's going to go in there 0 and 2 <laughs> with a minus 41. <laughs> point differential or thereabouts that's what it is right now but yeah and this is not just to, to bail out user from all these picks that end up in the ocean but don't sleep on scheme and still a very talented player and that's not an easy matchup for little man right i'll say this you know i've had people ask me how do you like commentating and you know i'll just come from the competitor i am okay Sometimes I get really salty because I just want to be out here competing versus the best in the world, and I'm not. So with that being said, scheming, I mean, man, you made Final 16. I know it's looking like it might be coming to an end for him, but to, to be able to make this tournament is so hard, okay? I mean, I tried my hardest. I grinded the heck out of this game this year, and I came up short. And, you know, it's an accomplishment to make to be considered a top 16 Madden player in the world, and that's what scheming was this year. And be looking for him next year. He is one of the most creative minds in of Madden. He's going to be back. He's going to be fine. I know this is going to hurt, but it was still a great year for him. Well, and that pretty much sums it up because you are a three-time belt winner. 
You are the leading money winner in the history of this thing, and yet you didn't make this field of 16 this year. I mean, that's how great the competition is right now. Yeah, it's, it's sick, but hey, you know what? You tried to give me a pep talk, why it's okay. Everyone tries to give me a pep talk, but it, it really isn't okay. But I, I'm just honored, honestly, <laughs> to be able to call these games. Like I said, the production has been great. And as you see, Clef's going to add on to that point differential. And you never know when you need an extra three points when you have this group play. 34-10 to 10 is going to be the final. Denzel Ward had a sack. He had a pick.